Welcome back to Drillers Garage. I've done it again. I bought another mystery mobile. I don't know what's up with this car. It's a 2001 Porsche 911. Supposedly it was a flood car, but I don't really see much evidence of a flood. I don't know. It came out of Houston. It actually was originally a California car, uh, but I got it out of the auction in Houston, which is not unheard of. They, they shuffle cars around quite a bit over there. So it's not the... Uh, you know, it's not that weird for them to sell a car somewhere other than where the car is from. But it is a California car. The car is actually pretty decent. Uh, it's dusty right now, but the interior is nice. Uh, let's see. It's a six-speed. It's a 2001, so it still still has the 3.4. And I don't know. I, I was hoping it would come with keys because the auction said keys are included and it's a running driving car they had a picture of the car running they had a picture of the car with the top up the top down you know obviously you can't do all that stuff without a key but uh, when the driver got over there they say oh there's no key we can't find the key so i call they tell me oh hey, we don't guarantee keys i said yeah but you show it as having keys included and you show the car running oh yeah well you read your terms and conditions yada 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 no key all right, well, so I now I got to go on a mission and try to find the locksmith that can come out here and make me a key from scratch. Shouldn't be impossible, but, you know, why? You know, it's just a headache, you know? I mean, it's supposed to be running driving car. Anyway, uh, the car does look pretty nice. So I will, once I figure it out, I don't know, I, I, I called a couple of locksmiths to see if I can get somebody out here to, uh, to uh, make me a key. So once I, if I can get that done and I can get the car running or at least unlock the steering wheel, because right now I have it here up against the fence when they came off the truck. Basically, we had it rolled out into the street here and I had to just kind of push it out of the way. So it's stuck here uh, up against the fence with the wheels turned in slightly and the steering wheel is locked. So I'm kind of stuck right now. Can't do anything uh, much about it. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh We'll see. I'm going to see what I can do with this thing. Uh, I tried to put some uh, jack here and basically a dolly over here. I have a couple more of these dollies, but they're kind of being used right now. So uh, see if I can get this car pushed at least back up in there. Fortunately, uh, the car does have battery, which is very strange for a car coming from the auction. Uh, all the fuses look like they are where they're supposed to be. So that's a good thing. Now I just have to get a key. Uh, like I said before, I had a, I called a couple of locksmiths already waiting for somebody to call me back and give me some good news. So it's a nice car. I like the paint. I don't know what color that is. It's like a light blue metallic it's not really silver it looks more blue it's got dark blue interior dark blue top it's actually a nice car i just i need a key i can't do anything without a key you know what i mean i'm trying to find every nook and cranny i even looked in here to see if i can find the key maybe they stashed it so we'll see what happens where I'm at is that I spoke to, I think they're called ECU specialists over here in Pompano. They're not that far from me. So what I did was I took the door panel off. I need to bring them the key, uh, the, the door key thing so they can make a blank. Uh, you know, the, the, what do you call that? The blade for the key. So I was going to take this one off, but I forgot. You can only take this one off if you have it turned into the on position. And since I don't have the key, I can't. Because if you see that little little dimple there, that little half moon shape there, you stick a little rod in there and you pull the, 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 the tumbler out. But without being on, you can't do that. So uh, I got to take the door panel off. I'm taking the airbag out right now. I got to take that off. I might have to take the immobilizer under the seat. I'm going to call him back and make sure, see if he needs that or not. I think maybe just with the key uh so he can make the, the the blade and the vin number he might be able to code the key otherwise i'll have to take the seat out here and take the immobilizer out and take it to them and i guess they'll probably you know a couple days they'll call me back and tell me they got a key for me and then we can start this bad boy up but otherwise it looks like a nice car it's got leather everywhere um i don't know it looks nice it's just it's dirty i'm gonna leave it dirty for now since it's gonna have to sit outside for a few days uh once it's once it's, once i have it running i'll clean it up and see where it goes.
but otherwise it doesn't look like a bad car this seat here does not recline the switch uh, is bad it goes forward but not back so i'm gonna have to take that switch out and either change it or fix it or something i don't know but uh, otherwise it's a nice car Seventy-three thousand miles on it i believe so it's not bad anyway back to uh i got one more bolt here to take out then i gotta take that door handle out so there's always a pain in the butt taking those door handles out but i gotta do it all right got this out they need that so they can stick their little thingy in there and make a a, a key from the you know from the, the blade so i gotta take that i'm gonna call them now see if they, i gotta take the seat i'll take the immobilizer out but it's all out wasn't too ter terribly difficult just kind of a pain reaching up in there it's very uncomfortable likes to cut hands and wrists but it's okay it's done beautiful day today so i figured i'd take the the little 912 out for uh for a drive funny enough the immobilizer i pulled out of that car says it was for a 2001 porsche boxster so we'll see i mean that's the one i took out so apparently the car was running with this immobilizer in it so i'm gonna have them make me a key and let's see what happens i don't know maybe the immobilizers are the same as long as the they're coded for the the vin numbers and everything is, is right maybe it all works the same so we'll see we'll see what happens i'm, I'm gonna get to uh uh, specialized ECU is the place and I believe this is their thing I, if I'm not mistaken I've had them do one before and that's the sticker they put on it so uh, let's see what they tell me when I get over there meanwhile eh, the little 912 good car this is the place here specialized ECU repair uh, I've used them once before they came through I mean the uh, one uh, thing they f fixed me, it was an immobilizer and a uh, boxer, a 2004 boxer, worked perfect. So uh, here I am again, I guess that's a good sign, you know, when you come back. A couple of days have passed since I filmed the, uh, the, the 911 that I bought, the, the silver one, the convertible. So uh, I was able to get the car inside. I uh, rolled it in here. I put some dollies, whatever. Um, I don't remember if I had shown in the other video that this wheel, the right rear wheel, had a major toe out issue. Uh, I, I don't know why, I figured out, get it up on the lift here. So that's what I did, I got it up on the lift and what I noticed is most likely some workshop, which probably the dealer, because this car was serviced at the dealer, didn't tighten the, uh, the, the, the control arm uh, adjusting bolt. So, I don't know if you can see that, but basically this bolt here is loose. And that's what, you know, keeps the, uh, the control arm in alignment. I mean, it's completely loose. Let's see if you can, I don't know if you can really see that very well. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. So I have not done anything, but look at this. You can just turn this bolt. And look what it does to the wheel. Yeah, it completely changes the alignment of the wheel. So, I'm going to tighten it up. What I'm going to do, so obviously this car needs an alignment. I'll probably end up having to put new tires on this thing because these tires are shot. So what I'm going to do, uh, just temporarily... I'm gonna measure and I was trying to think, okay, how can I more or less get the two rear wheels to be at the same toe? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure from here to here, from, from this bolt to the wheel. I'll do the same from here to here, at least that way, whether it's correct or not, as far as uh, equal, uh, correct as far as the actual setting, at least the two rear wheels will have the same toe. And uh, then I guess I can drive the car over to the alignment shop and have them do the do a proper alignment. Uh, before I do that, though, you know, a car's going to need tires. These tires aren't that great. They're pretty worn out. They're not that old. I think they're 2018, but uh, they, they're, they're kind of worn out. It's just better to replace them. So the car itself actually is pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to move the 912 real quick and uh, get it out and I'll do a video underneath of uh, the underside of this car. It's actually pretty decent. It's in really clean shape. 
It doesn't look like it's ever been hit. Uh, aside from, you know, uh, I looked at the Carfax and it did show a minor accident with a parked vehicle uh, back way early on in its life. So it's possible that maybe, you know, a little fender bender or something like that, but nothing major. So let me move that car. Uh, I'll get it out of here and I'll do a video underneath the car and show you guys what I find. Here I am underneath the car. The engine looks nice and dry. There's no leaks uh, at all. The rear main seal is nice and dry. Um, the transmission is dry. Uh, I do have uh, on the Carfax, it shows that the thermostat and the water pump were replaced about 2000 miles ago. So that's a good thing. I could tell that these were new just because the oxidation on the two different metals you could see was different. You could see this was definitely much newer than that, uh, as well as the water pump up there. So that's a good thing. That's always a maintenance thing that needs to be done. Uh, the car was serviced pretty regularly at the dealer. Uh, they even did a 90,000 mile service on the car already when it had like 60 something thousand miles. It's now at 73. So another good thing is you can see all the bolts are intact. They don't look like they've ever been removed, meaning uh, most likely this car has not had the IMS done, nor has it had a clutch done. So uh, we'll see. The animals at the auction with the forklift scratched up the control arms. Doesn't look like it didn't bend anything. It just kind of martyred up a little bit. I took a little, you know, a little file to it and just kind of ground them down on both sides. Yeah, they, they come with the forklift, they don't care. So, but other than that, the underside of the car looks really clean. Uh, it doesn't, again, it doesn't look, I almost fell. Doesn't look like it's ever been hit. As you can see it's all, all original, even the tub here. Uh, which is always banged up. I mean, it's got some scratches here. You can see the undercoating there, but uh, but it's not banged up, you know? Uh, again, forklifts and forklifts. One thing I did notice is this tie rod is bent. I don't know how long it's been like that. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I just don't know. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't even know if the car was aligned with that tie rod bent. It looks to me, like the two front wheels are turned the same amount. Now the steering wheel is locked because I'm still waiting for the key. So what I'm going to do is once I get the key uh, and unlock the steering wheel, well, after that I can start the car and drive it. I'm going to see if the alignment is set because it's possible that they may have aligned it with that already bent. Uh, either way, I'm going to replace that. I'm going to put a proper one and uh and i will take the car for alignment anyway uh the front has two different tires so yeah this car really could use a new set of tires but otherwise it's really clean down here i mean you can see it's it actually is a pretty nice car so once i get that key and the immobilizer and everything back and i can crank it up kind of looking forward to it One thing I was really curious about this car is the color. Uh, it is silver, but it's almost like, um, I don't know, like a bluish silver. So I'm looking at the panko here and it is polar silver metallic. It's actually a really nice car. It's a silver with like a hue of blue. So it's nice. As I said a little while ago, this wheel right here, this one, was completely towed out because of that control arm uh, adjusting that eccentric bolt there being loose so this is what i did i made a little mark i don't know if you can see it's just a little mark just for reference on both uh, trying to get the center of each bolt so what i'm doing here is i'm going to put the tape measure to the inside of the wheel and measure here to the mark and i'm getting uh, about six and seven eighths, hold on. Uh, about about six and seven eighths, if I can get it right. Uh, eventually I'll get it, six and seven eighths. And on this side also, the idea is to get it at about six and seven eighths. So whether that adjustment is correct or not is not the point. The point is that the two rear tires have the same amount of toe that way the car will more or less drive straight. I'm gonna take the car for alignment 
and then they'll set it on point. But for now, at least this wheel is set at the same uh, toe as this one. At least that's the idea. I mean, whether I got it right or not, I don't know. Like, this, this is kind of my, uh, I don't know if you'd call it redneck engineering uh, technique, but hey, you know, I got to do what I can with what I have to work with. So uh, I don't have an alignment rack. So at least now uh, I can get the car down the road. If any worst case, I could just put it on my trailer and take it on my trailer. But um, for now, we'll see. Uh, so hopefully that will do it. Uh, I did tighten the, uh, the nut on the backside of that and that should be good to go. So I'm gonna put the car on the ground and that wheel should more or less point in the same direction as that one. And then once I put tires on it, I'll go and, and that front uh, tie rod in the front and then I'll go and get a full four wheel alignment done on the car. And then it should drive straight as an arrow. Someone's gonna get a good car. I have a good feeling about it. You know, some cars, I, I, I bought a Boxster not too long ago that I, I, I started to make a video on it, but the car was a piece of crap. I'm like, you know, I'm not even gonna bother people with this car. But this car is actually nice. So that's why I'm doing the videos, and, or at least this video. And I'll put the car for sale and somebody's gonna get a good car. Uh, I can't really do anything else with this car until I get that key. I'm kind of stuck here. That's one of the reasons I wanted to put it on the lift. I can get put it up in the air and still get my other cars in and out. So for now, I think I'm just gonna have to kind of put it on hold. I will give it an oil change i do need to verify that oil filter i was going to do that today but there's really no point uh, i need to change the oil anyway i want to just make sure that it's clear uh oil change is you know what how, like they say it's cheap insurance so uh one thing i'm gonna i'm gonna jack it up i'm gonna tighten that uh, control arm back there and uh, and that's about it that's all that's really all i can do but uh i think next time what I'll do is I will change the oil just, again, to have a baseline. I always like to have a baseline. And I will go through the oil filter, make sure there's no shavings in there. Uh, the car is running on the original IMS from what I could see as far as the transmission uh, not looking like it's ever been removed. And I can't wait to get it out of here and wash it because, man, it is filthy. Look at this. To give you an idea. Oops. <laughs> I'm right-handed, so it's a little weird for me to write with my left hand. But yeah, it's dirty, so I need to get it out of here and wash it. But uh, I need to get it cranked up first. So I'll be back soon with the rest of the you know follow-up to this one. But uh, I'm kind of excited. Someone's gonna get a good car. It's a good car. I'm gonna put that car for sale. I don't really need it. Uh, I just like I like playing with cars, so I buy cars. You know, <laughs> uh, it's uh, my that's kind of my Achilles heel, I guess you could say. I'm uh, some people like to go to the mall. I like to buy cars. Uh, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Uh, I can't really do anything more with this car until the immobilizer comes back and the key. So for right now, I'm stuck. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. Uh, I have a good feeling about this car. It seems to be a pretty decent car. So once I get the stuff back, I will plug it all in and put the seats back in it, or at least the driver's seat back in it, put the immobilizer back in it hopefully turn the key and it will start hopefully so that's it uh thanks for watching uh please subscribe please like leave me any comments there will be another video coming up on this car since uh, obviously it's going to be a part you know part two i wasn't sure if it was going to be but i think so so uh again thanks for watching and have a great day